day beautiful people i'm justina and welcome back to my channel diy natural skincare so today let's make a hair conditioner this conditioner um, it will be light conditioner and it's pretty simple to do because I'm not putting any fancy ingredients, just this kind of the main ingredients which every conditioner should have. And of course, it's gonna be natural. So let's dig in, in the ingredients. So for the hair conditioner, it's gonna be a three different phases, okay? So first start with the uh, water phase. So for the water phase, of course, we're gonna need some water, which I have in here already weighted out in distilled water. As usual, the whole recipe and formula you will find in the description box below. So distilled water here. Then to this, in here it's already pre-mixed. As you see, it's a xanthan gum and glycerin. Okay, so glycerin and xanthan gum, what it's gonna do, it's gonna, it's, it's a thickener. Uh, xanthan gum is a thickener and it's gonna give us a pretty thick kind of gel consistency. As you see, so what we need to do now, we need to mix it with the water. Mix water and xanthan gum and glycerin mixture together. And we're gonna put it aside and go on to another oil phase. Okay, so we're just now mixing it very well till it's gonna come like light gel consistency okay so we just mix it putting some foil on it and just put it aside for now then there's the next phase oil phase so for oil phase we're gonna need i have in here butter it's mango butter here you are more than welcome to substitute to shea butter i don't know avocado butter cacao butter any other butter what you want i'm using 10 percent from the whole formula then i have in here extra virgin olive oil as you see it's a light um, yellow color you can as well substitute to any oil which you have and or which you prefer coconut oil is very good as well if you wish to use this as the same as the um, olive oil it's good for your hair as well then the next ingredient i have in here like a little white pearls do you see it's like btm 25 there is btm 50 as well you can use btm 50 if you wish to and what it does it's it is a natural emulsifier and as well it would it's a very popular ingredient to use especially in a hair conditioner so what it does it will condition your hair okay so the btm it is kind of essential um ingredient for the hair conditioner so four percent of the whole formula for the uh, btm 25 and i have in here sun is out i have in here a little pearls here as well it is a ketyl alcohol it's a fatty alcohol and it's a good for your hair and as well it's good for the uh, for, to, for to using conditioner oh my goodness can you see me <laughs> conditioner and what what ketyl alcohol does it does not dry your hair and um, what it does it's a fatty alcohol so it will leave your hair kind of more vibrant like um, uh, softer and silky okay so you would need a ketyl alcohol as well so i have in here four percent of it so this is your oil phase so now all this mixture is here as you see what i'm gonna do now as well closing some with the foil and these two water face and the oil face i'm gonna put in my double boiler and we are gonna melt everything the water face we're gonna heat it up and we have to melt everything like this for this you're gonna need a thermometer and you have to keep checking it till both of these uh, till both of these containers gonna reach 70 degrees celsius when both of these gonna reach 70 degrees celsius then we're gonna go to emulsifying stage okay so let's put them into double boiler <laughs> well so the both phases is here all melted and it's over 70 degrees celsius okay let's check it the sun is shining, I hope you can see me. 
Okay, so what we need to do now is to put oil phase into the water phase, as you see, okay, and mix it. Mix it like pouring it now. And for this, to mix water phase with the oil phase, for the conditioner, you must use a immersion blender or some any other electrical thing, okay? So let's use it and let's mix it. So straight away it becomes like a liquid, like milk, you know? Like a hot milk. It's still li very liquidy and hot. That's why we keep blending it. Okay, it's still very liquidy and it will be liquidy because it's still very hot as you can see like okay so while when uh, the whole mixture will, will start to begin to cool off then the emulsifying process will start to take place and it's gonna get this nice light uh, creamy consistency so we keep blending blending it and we wait until it's gonna cool off for a bit If you wish to do this faster, you can put this in a cold uh, water bath. I don't have now beside me, so I'm not gonna do this. So I'm just gonna wait a little while till it's gonna cool it off and gonna blend it one more time. Just want to check the temperature. When the temperature re reaches less than 40 degrees Celsius, then we can put, add our, uh, heat 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 resistant ingredients and the temperature is 45 and i still can feel it that it's a bit too hot so we're not gonna put it yet it's still too hot and for the cool down phase what we're gonna do we're gonna eat add some of the um, ingredients which is gonna be a, a deep antenna, which is pro vitamin b5 it's very good not only for your hair but then for your skin so it's gonna leave your skin silky and shiny, the pro vitamin B5. To this, of course, we're gonna add vitamin E. And I choose a peppermint essential oil to add. If you be, be my guest to substitute to any essential oil to add if you wish to. And then we're gonna check the pH and uh, with the pH strips and pH for the hair condition should be between 3.5 and 5.5. And then, of course, we're gonna add our preservative. Choose the preservative which you like to use. This is a preservative eco, a broad spectrum preservative. And of course, then we're gonna add into our little container. Uh, because it's a hair conditioner and usually we have it in our bathroom or showers. So use a plastic container, which is this in here, is plastic container or silicone container. Uh, don't use any glass because it can be very dangerous to have some glass stuff into your shower or bath. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're gonna do. So let's just cool it off. Okay, and we're gonna give it a try again. Okay, so now it's just 40. Okay, so let's put it back on the scales, our hair conditioner. And now we're gonna add 3% uh, of the pantanol. So 7.5 grams, because I'm making 250. Now, turning out the scales, putting vitamin E. This is vitamin E, 1%, 2.5. Okay, turning out the scales and let's put some essential oil. In this case, I'm putting peppermint essential oil, which is as well 2.5. Okay, so let's mix in now all our cool down ingredients very well. Then all our hair conditioner, it's still, this is still very warm and it's still a bit liquidy, but as I told you, when it's gonna get cold, it's gonna get, it's gonna get, have more of the consistency. So don't worry about that. And now let's check the pH. And pH is 
5.5. So that's fine. We're gonna leave it the way it is. It's perfect just because there is some water in it. We need to add some preservative and I'm adding 1%, which is 2.5 grams of preservative pico. Very well. Mm. Light, light scent of the peppermint essential oil. Love it, not too strong, like white in color, kind of creamy. Let's blend a little bit more. I'm finished blending, so what I want to do now, I just want to leave it aside um, for the whole, um, the whole formula here, recipe, that it will completely uh, gonna get cool down before I putting in container. Okay, so see you in a while. Well, so our hair condition, it's completely now cold and it has this thick kind of, you see, consistency. So let's now place in our container now. So this is like a pump container, okay? So let's transfer it. Okay. Okay, now this is new one, so we need to open it. And that's it. Okay. So as I said, there is a peppermint essential oil. It's not too much of it. You can have it stronger uh, smell if you would like to, but it's really like kind of a, a nice peppermint essential oil smell. Uh, as well, it's like light consistency, okay? It's not too heavy because I use a mango butter. If you want kind of more stronger consistency, use maybe uh, more moisturizing effects, which will have, uh, use maybe shea butter or even cacao butter. This is light conditioner and yeah, it's nice, lovely and light. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope that you're gonna try this. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next week. Bye.